With the summer holidays finally over, things are slowing down at this holiday park in Devon. The kids are back at school and this man has the pool to himself. They've had a decent season here, but with the cost of living crisis and rising energy prices looming, they're already thinking ahead. We've got to be very cautious going forward. Um, our own costs too, you know, if we're running a business, it is an extreme worry for us. We've seen wages go up this year. The suppliers have put their costs up and they're probably going to put their costs up again. You know, their electric's costing more, ours is costing more. It, it's really tricky, really tricky, but we just have to be ahead of the game somehow. They're also looking at ways to reduce their energy consumption. One of the measures being introduced at Cofton here to mitigate rising energy costs is that on the hard standings and super pitches like this, electricity will be metered. So instead of effectively being unlimited, customers will pay for the electricity they use. It'll make them more cautious of what they're using and spending on electric. And they also have the choice of um, not paying for it at all. And they could use their own solar or other means of, you know, lighting the caravan or use gas to boil the kettle. They've got the choice then. They're also maximising the use of the facilities like the indoor pool here all year round. Something tourism leaders say is vital. We need to make Devon a 365 day a year tourism destination, which we are. We are that destination. We just have to make sure that we've got the businesses to service those visitors that come and visit. Visitors like these retired couples able to travel outside the peak season. We've got a caravan, so we've um, just made the most of the summer. Well, I think we've been away about 10 times but in this country. And um, yeah, we've just been all over the place. Last year, Cornwall was ridiculous. We went to Newquay and it was just heaving and not pleasant. And, you know, things still closed down a little bit. So it's better now, isn't it? It's better this year than last year. Uh, it seems more controlled. Surprising though it may seem, it is possible to have too many visitors, so-called over-tourism. I think over-tourism is a huge problem. What we desperately need here in Cornwall is um, year-round tourism, shoulder month tourism, and the type of tourism that will create meaningful, uh, well-paid jobs. Whether in Cornwall or Devon, it's all about spreading the jam more evenly. Scott Bingham, BBC Spotlight. Malcolm Bell joins us from Visit Cornwall. Um, numbers are back to pre-pandemic levels. Malcolm, do you think they'll recover? I, I think being back to pre-pandemic levels isn't bad. I mean, last year there weren't many places that were suffering. It wasn't good for locals and it wasn't so good for the visitors. But what we have got to say, which has been said before, is actually spread this out. And it's a real worry over the confidence with energy prices that we could see seasonality getting worse, not better. It's great down here outside the main seasons. We can cope with more, not huge numbers. And that would do a big boost for productivity and employment. But we need businesses to be able to operate in the winter. Yeah, we heard Sally Everton there from Visit Devon talking about, you know, extending into the shoulder months. And we've talked about that before, just to extend the season. But how likely is that, do you think, given the current situation? Well, that's the thing. We need the consumer to be settled their confidence. Hopefully that will come tomorrow with government announcements. We also need businesses to be able to operate and they need help, especially those that are actually open all year round. Because there are new markets now, it's what they call the, the workation market. People who are working at home can have a break and they can do a bit of work down here as well as have a break in the winter. We've got the, the more senior population. We've got lots of people that can actually now holiday outside the main season, but we need to make sure their businesses can stay open and they can afford to stay open. We heard on the national news today that if businesses don't get help from government, then thousands of them across the country could close down. We're so reliant, of course, on our brilliant hospitality uh, businesses here. How bleak a picture is it, depending on what the government says tomorrow? It is. It's about the confidence for businesses that they can plan. They're not going to be hit with three, four, five hundred percent rises. And I think the important thing is, is 19 pence in the pound of every business spend goes on the high street and 24% goes in food and drink. So this isn't just about the hotels, the B&Bs and the self-catering, it's about the high street and the supply chain that is so important to create those jobs right across the region. Have you got any positives for us tonight, Malcolm? <laughs> the positive thing is once people are sure of where they're going to be financially, a holiday and a break is high up their list. So we need to make sure that people have confidence they can plan ahead and then a holiday or a break 
is very high up their list, especially if they're stressed. So as long as people can have their nerves steady, and we've got a great product down here in the southwest and in Cornwall, I'm positive, but we do need to have people's nerves settled and be able to plan with confidence. And it always helps when the sunshine comes out, which it looks like it is there at the moment. Malcolm Balfour, now thank you very much. Thank you.